Hi, I'm Giddy Scoob, and this is Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is a game I wanted to play for a little bit. It is on the Wii, so I I hope it goes well. Um, it apparently psychologically evaluates you or something as you play, adapts the gameplay to face your innermost fears, however that works. It's also very loud. Oh, this is the... Did I do it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's this one. I don't like that it keeps doing that. Okay, I thought another menu was going to pop up. I love my daddy. Sweetie. Is her mom filming? I love my daddy. Daddy? But also, who's w watching it over and over again? I love my daddy. Okay. Vibes. Is that him? Yes? The new patient is here. They're early. That's fine. We can start now. Is that pulling up? Them pulling up for their psychology appointment? She just seen them coming down the street and we're like, they're early. As they crash into the building. I'm glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. Good. Good, good, good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes. No drugs. No theories. Can I click on stuff? We go back to the start. Understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. 
Okay. I make friends easily. No. Having a drink helps me relax. Sure. I always listen to other people's feelings. Yes. I prefer abstract ideas. Sure. I have enjoyed role-playing during sex. I've never done that. Working to a plan or a schedule is best. Terrible at that. I have never cheated on a partner. True. Some weird questions, Doc. Never cheated on a partner? Really? Oh. Okay. We gotta shake our head. Let's get started then. Why am I like leaning in like I that's gonna change anything? There's something in the passenger seat. Like a doll or something. Cheryl. It's a beer. Cheryl? Sweetie? Was that the whole analysis? Oh my god. Or is he gonna give me more forms because he's a liar? Cheryl? 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 Cheryl! Cheryl. I'm gonna be annoyed at controlling this just because it's the Wii. I say that, but I wasn't annoyed at playing Calling. Cheryl. Is A to, pr Cheryl? to call? Sh I think A is to call Cheryl. Where have you gone? Cheryl. What the fuck is that? It's not Cheryl's. Cool, I'm glad we got that out of the way. It's not Cheryl's. So we're climbing that. Okay, we can run with a Z. Hello? Cheryl! Cheryl? Metal and iron. Love that for us. Well, we can't climb that one. Why is this so glowy? Cheryl. Oh, there's a door. I thought it went into first person. I was scared. So pressing down lets us look behind us. B is to look slash zoom in. Oh, hello there. <laughs> wait, what, does it have the year on it? What year is this? No year. Just tits. Sweetie? Well, we're in Silent Hill. Already. So that's good. For no one involved. Can I, like... Is there anything to pick up right now? Or... Um... Can we jump? Make this break? Wait, 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 wait. There was, like, a picture. Gotta find Cheryl. Cheryl? Cheryl? Cheryl. I don't like that A is to call Cheryl. I'm getting annoyed by it because I want to look at stuff. Or pick stuff up. But it's just like... Sweetie. Sweetie. Cheryl. Cheryl. Nice. Soulful grooves. <laughs> nice. So we ju do we just point at stuff to look at it then? Cheryl, are you going potty in here? Cheryl? Cheryl? Sweetie? Who left the plunger in there? That's rude. Oh. 
That urinal is intense. Cheer, little, little, little whore. Cuckoo's rule. Oh, oh my god. Was spit roasted by the entire cuckoo's offense here? That's rude. Oh, there's reflections. Wait, what was... Something popped up. I thought something popped up. I mean, also, good for her. Get it, girl. Sweetie. Well, I, d I don't think that door is very useful, then. Shut is it? Up. Where are we? Just, like, a scrapyard? Who's banging in a scrapyard? I think we came in through there. Sweetie. 911. Very useful information. Oh, wait. No. Now. Okay. Cool nice eggs. Do you want some? Could probably maybe be used to heal. I don't know. Sweetie. 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 Okay, well, I haven't been able to look at anything yet. Pinch. <laughs> I did it. Take that door. Beware of Doge. So like, are we officially in Silent Hill now? Like, actually in the town and not, like, in the outskirts or something. Café Noir. Damn, people should go to Silent Hill. Look at these gas prices. That's nice. I'd prefer to get an electric car, but on that note, I can't drive, so... You know. This looks like where I live when it snows. At Boatkin, you're family is our priority because life is too precious all right oh we can open this nice little tv cages love that hello Sweetie? <laughs> Sweetie? Was that you? Are you inside the TV? What's that? Okay, so things that we can, like, pick up have a little arrow above them. Goofy 
shielding your calls? Christ, my wife just told me about the video. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? You wipe our wedding video? You knew that was the only copy. You can't replace that. Watch your backs. You're fielding your calls? Okay. Christ, my wife just told me about the video. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? You wipe our that wedding video? Else. You knew that was the only copy. You can't replace that. Cheryl! Watch your backs. Okay, so locked doors exist. We should look around. Sweetie. To find a way to unlock it. Such as a key or a mechanism. What's this? Oh, come on. Alright, I think that's all that was. <laughs> A happy couple. So that's the wedding video that was recorded over? I'm not sure what this is. Because this is like an electronic store, right? But they're also selling... Bootleg tapes? Question mark? Okay, I don't think there's anything to look at. Look at unless there's like an arrow. I'm gonna guess. Cheryl! Cheryl! Are you in the camera? Do not climb. Well... We gotta climb it. What kind of a what kind of a fence says do not climb? Like if the fence is there, then obviously they don't want you to climb it. Weird little garbage can. Can we like go up here? Am I over here for no reason? Oh no, we can climb this. <laughs> he loves climbing. Love that for us. Okay. I thought the bear was gonna be something. Recent graduates. Dance school. Dead dog? Oh, Puppy? What are these? Okay, well, we got a key. It was in a beer can for some reason. Cheryl? Cheryl! Dead dog posse. <gasps> There's a diner. With a clown! Do we go to the clown? Do, do we go to the clown diner? Rude. That didn't stop anything, did it?
The clown diner's for sale. If that's Sybil, then this is meant to be like a remake of the first game, right? You okay, sir? Not a good night to be out and about. How did I'm you get here? Take a seat. Your daughter. Go on. We were in a car accident. When I came to, she was gone. Oh, that died. Maybe she went to get help. Okay, you pause with one. Uh, I'll be right back. Resume. Yeah, clever girl? Sensible? Yeah, I think so. She's seven. Her name's Cheryl. Here's a photo. Cute. Harry Mason. Levin Street. Your ID says you live on Levin Street. That's a few blocks from here. Levin Street, yeah. Yeah, that's where I live. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You feeling okay, Harry? Any headache? Nausea? A few blocks Revision? from here. A bit of all of them. Maybe she went home. Makes sense. We're being very Harry? sus. Your phone. What about her phone? phone? Right. They hung up. A lot of problems with phones on account of the storm. Maybe that was your little girl. Was she it could ringing? Be trying to call me from home. Car units, please respond. Unconfirmed reports of a potential looting on Finney's. Shit. I need to follow this up. It's okay. I'll head home. I'm sure she's there. Tell you what. As soon as I'm done, I'll meet you over there. Levin Street. Thanks. Take care. Uh, press minus to take out Harry's cell phone. Has many other uh, has many uses. For example, you can take photos, use GPS, or call any number you find. GPS, like the map. How do I? Z can I zoom? Okay. So plus is our flashlight. We have no messages, which is sus. We have a camera. We have an awful camera. God. I wonder if it's used for anything or if it's just like, oh, you can take pictures. Logs. Okay. Phone book. Ow! Hello? Cheryl? Sweetie? Damn! That hurt my ear! Can we dial 911? My daughter. My daughter's missing. Why can't we... My daughter's missing. Shit. My seven-year-old daughter is missing. Shit. Oh, TV phone audio. There we go. Mementos? Is that like, do we have an inventory? I'm doubting the Mentos is our inventory. 
Okay, so hitting left will bring up the map right away. Pressing right will bring up the camera. Up is phone. And down is the look behind us. C doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Use? Use what? What are we... Wait, what are we using? Oh, this. There's a snow globe. Is this a memento? This town is home to many lost and discarded objects. Although these mementos have no practical value or purpose, they once meant something to someone. Okay. So, it's a collectible? Alright. Love that for us. Nah. Nah. Hot dogs. We wouldn't have hot dogs. Is this blonde Elvis? Hello, blonde Elvis. I don't think there's anything else in here. Alright, let's head home, I guess. Look at that! That's how last right. winter was. What is wrong with me? A lot. Back the way I came. Please be there. Our daughter's been dead for fifty years. Uh okay. said back the way we came, but like... Okay, there we go. Waypoint, this way. We can't run with the phone out. So do we go... He said back the way we came, so let's go this way. There's footprints. Okay, so we are going to use the camera. There is a layer of the reality that cannot be seen with the naked eye. It sucks that the camera looks like a flip book. Something is odd about the swing in this playground. Try photographing it. What is that? Swing? Well, there's like a thing there. Oh my god! Pressing minus. New voicemail. Listen. Daddy, I need you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, just this way? Strong. This is strong, right? Strong emotions have a habit of attracting themselves to object. Attaching, even. Uh, something in this room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. Okay, loud. We share a deep love. As we grow older together and the fires of our youth grow dimmer, our love will remain strong, our passion undimmed, our excitement only growing as we build our life together. Okay. Vibes. Was there always a red rug in here? Hmm. Okay. Why does it keep, like, doing that? Is 
Oh, there's a quick turnaround. So there's a look behind us and a quick turnaround. Can I not walk through this? Excuse me? Uh, there's something weird here? No? Alright, then why can't I walk through it? <laughs> Rude. Hello? I heard it that time. Cheryl? Daddy? Daddy? Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there. Wait for me. You have to run, Daddy. You can't find them. Run! What? Is somebody with you? Cheryl! I'm coming to get you! Damn it! Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. We killed our daughter, didn't we? <laughs> She's dead. She is not alive. That's cool. I wasn't expecting it to show it happening. So this one has like an icy world instead of a rust world. A little doggo. This is the dead dog posse. He's very, he's fine with whatever's happening. Why is it screaming? Yeah, good. Find the exit. Run at the blue edge that marks roots. Listen for the distortion that precedes danger. Find the exit on Levin Street and escape the nightmare. So we're in a nightmare. We're in the nightmare world. Well, what if I want to go this way? Many. They cannot be killed or hurt. Throw them off and run. Lose them. Find the exit. Escape the nightmare. Run away! Run away! I... What is this? Ow, it hurts. Okay, well, I'm not going to look at it because... Oh, rude? Like that it had me has me do like motions to fight them off because then I have to freak out and try and figure out how to aim at the screen again. 
All right, so we gotta find the exit. It's so hard to point at these damn screens. Get off of me. Excuse me. Oh, this way, this way. To the right, to the right. I think this is going back to where I was, though. Hold on. So it's a maze. We gotta find our way out of the maze. <laughs> this way, this way seems good. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Okay, well, damn it. I don't think that door opened. Oh my god, it's so slow to open the map. I like how it opened the door, that was cute. <laughs> that way, that seems like probably a good way. No, this says exit. To the exit. That's a bathroom. Just flail. Flail him away. than I thought they were. I should have just tried to leave from the beginning. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh my god, this is hard. No, crawl under. I can't aim. What is this? What is this? What is this? Emergency flares. Light the flare with C and heat holds off the creatures while it lasts. Okay. Get off of me. This says exit. This seems good. We did it! 
We got through the mazy maze. Is there no fighting in this game? It seems like it's just very defensive. Like, run away, use flares. It doesn't seem like there's an inventory. It's good that we touched on the car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. Okay. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. It's important to you. For you, family is about physical affection and making your feelings known. You're okay. giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's sleeping. True or false? Is That's not what we agreed to. A private person. I guess. Would you say it takes a while for people <coughs> to get to know you? Um. Sure. Uh huh. People can choose their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Sure. Nothing surprising there. No. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. This picture's ugly. We're gonna make the car blue. Blue, 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 blue. Harry, you're a terrible artist. Okay. Nice deep green for the trees. Mm. Come on. That's not... I thought that was brown. I've been lied to. These colors don't match the pencils. Are these crazy art? Are you giving me fucking crazy art pencils? Couldn't even spring for the Crayola? Some bullshit. We're gonna do... A red chimney. A red house. I changed my mind. Red door. Purple house. Purple house. Purple house. Why am I doing this? Whee! Black roof. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a great black pencil. Look at that pigment. Damn. Magic garage. Just duh. Okay, well, I was gonna draw a dick, but that didn't work out now, did it? You get yellow pants. Because you just feel like you'd have yellow pants. And then to finish it off, a nice dark blue sky. If I can paint up there. You stupid pencils, everyone in my picture, bruv. Done. You're finished? Yes. Yes. What a lovely family home. Is your yep. home like this? Nope. Was I supposed to answer that? Wait, is it the house? Oh, it did it. That's kind of cute. It did the black roof, purple house, red door. I like that. It's kind of cool. Have a nice coffee. Shut up. Hi there. 
It gave him the green shirt. Okay. What are you doing in my house? I think you have the wrong address. No, this is my house. Who's that at the door, hon? Oh, hi there. What are you people doing in my house? You don't have the yellow this pants. Is our home. Bullshit. We've been living here for a long time. Isn't that right, Mike? 1206 Levin Street. My name is Harry Mason. This is my house. My daughter just called me from here. From here? Oh. Uh, Lucy, honey, you think perhaps our little princess has been up to her old tricks? We're sorry. This is weird. Katie's been acting up. She likes to make prank calls. Prank call? Why are you playing games with me? Sorry for any upset Katie has caused. We'd like to help, but it's getting late. This doesn't make any sense. This is all wrong. Cheryl is inside, isn't she? The only thing that doesn't make sense is your being here. You're upsetting my wife. Why are you doing this to me? My daughter is in there! No, she's not. Please get off my property. <laughs> huh? The garage doesn't match. I spent all that time coloring the garage. Doesn't even match. She knew. She knew this wasn't Harry? our house. There are people in my house. I think they've got Cheryl. Okay, calm down, Harry. It's okay, Mike. I've got this covered. You know him? You're, You're a part, part of this? Of this? Hold up. You saw my license. This is my home. Can I see that license again? Did it change? I know the stewards. They don't have your daughter. They're school teachers. Let's me and you head to the police station. We can sort this out. I shouldn't have trusted you. Damn cops. Don't say anything <laughs> you're going to regret later. I'm on your side, Mr. Mason. Come with me and we'll make this right. I wonder if I could color the house with like stripes. <laughs> Officer Sybil Bennett. Anything that is Sybil. Happens to my daughter, I'll hold you responsible. She's not in the steward's house. How can you be so sure? I've been a cop for 20 years, and all 20 of them in this town. I know the place, and I know the people. I know the stewards haven't kidnapped your daughter. They're in my house. Says your ID. You sure this... that's your house? Mm. Just how well is your head working, Harry? I haven't forgotten anything. Some things are fuzzy, uh, but the rest I know. I know that was my house. What else? What else do you know? I'm Harry Mason. I love my daughter very much. I live in Silent Hill. I write for a living crap, pretty much. Conspiracy thrillers? Murder mysteries? Sometimes. You know, whatever they pay me for, I, I work for hire. My stuff is big in libraries. Never sees hardcover. Real life's a lot more boring than your stories. We'll find your daughter, Harry. Then life can be normal again. So, this is definitely, like... Not really a... I guess it would be a remake. Not a remaster. It's like it's a weird remake of the first game. Because, like, the story's not the same, but it has the okay same characters. There? Sure. Holding up. I'm sure your daughter's okay. We're and Silent Hill seems... Up. Fully we functional get somehow. You to the hospital too, once we know she's safe. I'm fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. He was never the same after that. You gotta look after yourself, Harry, for your daughter's sake. Point taken. Damn, this snow is crazy. Oh, it's like full on encrusting the, the car. Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. We're nowhere, apparently. That's just a snow mound. Oh, we're gonna like transform. Zoom and interact. Eh. What's that? Where's she gone? What's that? What? 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 Come on. What's that? What's that? What am I zooming and interacting with?
I guess just the door. I mean, it's a police car. It makes sense that it's not going to open. It's weird that there's this, though. How do I... Oh, my God. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, that seems like as far as it's going. Eh. Come on. It has to go lower. I guess not. Oh, we can move. Okay. Well, it didn't say that. It just said move, zoom in, and interact. Girl, your window has to go farther down than this. So Harry's like super paranoid in this one. And, like, basically a different person. Also, it's really weird seeing Silent Hill as being functional. Is there a gun in here? Memento, as opposed to a pimento. Sybil, your car sucks. None of your windows roll down right. Can I drive? <laughs> Drive. Put it into. Wait, what's this? Nothing. All right. See, Bill. I guess I rolled all the windows back up. See, Bill. Oh, it's buried. See, Bill. That means bad guys, right? Or there's a memory. Damn it, Mom. Why do you never pick up? I need you. I'm at a party in the woods, but I'm feeling uncomfortable. I need you to come pick me up. Okay. Are we getting other people's memories? Is that why this game is called Shattered Memories? Open. Open. That's not a first aid. That's a key. So we're Towns here. To the east. Why were we heading outside of town? Because we were heading, like, from town to this way. I don't see why the police station would be outside of town.
Alright, let's just follow the path, I guess. See, Bill? We don't have A to call daughter anymore. Is this Toluca Lake? Fishing since I was a kid. Okay. Mm -mm. What this? Are you an alcoholic? Oh, yeah, this is a moonshine. Like distillery. It's a boat. There's a boat. Boats are fun. I gotta say, this does have. It has good direction so far. Like, I'm going where I need to, and I'm not lost, except for the one. Where you were meant to be lost. Wait, can we go? I didn't zoom in on the boat. Like, I'm just kind of walking and I'm ending up where I'm supposed to be. You know what I mean? I have, I've played games recently that were like brand new and I'm walking around just completely lost. No idea where to go. Henry's on the lake. I see. I don't. Is, excuse me? Is it one of these? has to be. I don't see anything. Is there a way up there? Right here, maybe? There we go. Okay. That's a body. Or a sleeping bag. Crazy shit. Man. We shouldn't have given the new girl that stuff. She's running around tearing her clothes off. Won't stop crying. Damn. Shut up about who gave it to her, Lewis. So that was a text. Sybil, I found a murder. Well, I guess it wasn't a murder, but like it still. I found I found a body. Sybil. Sybil. I don't know if I should be exploring more. Or if, like, that matters at all. 
Like, I'm guessing there's mementos to find. But otherwise, I, I don't really know. Sybil, have you seen any mentos anywhere? I haven't had much time to brush my teeth with all the crazy shit that's been happening. Hey, let's go this way, because I'm positive that that building is where we have to go. Unless it's not. Because that seems like a building where we have to go. Okay, well... To this one. Which I'm assuming is a water treatment plant. Hello? Sybil? You left me in the car all alone. What was I supposed to do? I rolled down all your windows. It's gonna be very cold in there. You left your keys in there, I think. I found your cigarettes. I stole them. I don't smoke, but, like, I don't know. I got, I got shit going on, okay? Are we supposed to be going somewhere? It's a pump station. That was close. Same difference. Pump station, water treatment station, plant. Weeds. Yeah, kids today. Kids always. That door is sus. That sound is awful. It's so cold, but I'm happy because I know I will see my brother again soon. Lying down now, cold. A bird just put a leaf on me. Or did I dream it? Love you all. That's so sad. Poor girl. She didn't even want to be there, and then they gave her something, and then it fucked her up, and then they just left her out there? That's fucking rude. No, oh, I feel bad. This is like a path, right? Uh, here's a path. Oh, it's like a big open area. Okay. These little woods aren't even that big and they just left her out there. It's not like until dawn where it's a huge mountain and they legit fell off of the mountain. We're still looking for Sybil, right? Or are we just on our own journey of self-discovery now?
Hello? Oh, I do not like this place. Why was the music so intense? And then... Nothing. The fuck is that? No bear back in the great outdoors? Oh, it's... <laughs> no bear... Okay, <laughs> it's condoms. What's this? Noctifree? I don't... Downers. Downers. Okay. Is this where they had the party? What a shitty place for a party. Looks more like a drug den. Open. Open. Me. The fuck is this? Safety flashlight? Doesn't seem very safe. Why is it? It does a weird perspective thing when it goes towards this, the top. Alright, well, I don't think I need to be in here anymore. Are there, like, multiple endings, and if I get all the mementos, I get a good ending? Because it tends to be good endings and bad endings and stuff in the in Silent Hill games. Hello? Mr. Mason. Officer Bennett? How did you get my number? I have your wallet. Where the hell are you? Lost in the woods. You just ran away from a police officer. You abandoned me. What? I'm not under arrest. Why can't I get up and leave? I mean... Mr. Mason, do not go anywhere. I am coming to get you. You hear me? I need to get back to town. If this wasn't Silent Hill, I... I don't know. This is a weird Silent Hill game. I feel like he's having, like, a full-on... breakdown. Like... I don't... I don't even know if it's a breakdown. Just, like... A psychotic break? Come on, son. Finish it. Oh. I am ashamed to be your father. You got it in the leg. Now you gotta kill it. You don't sound this like a good father. Do. This is how the world works. Shoot. Ew. Silent Hill. Not far as the Brahms. Toluca Lake's scenic route? Well, what's this way? Blood? There's blood! 5557243. I thought I seen something. It's the weird shadows. 7243. driving, drunkenness, or other incidents, please state the location where the incident occurred. Love that. Okay. Come on. It's a wallet. With a key. Whoa, whoa.
the phone is so slow. Ow! Oh! I thought I was supposed to get a phone call or something if I took a picture of those. Well, now we're in the icy nightmare world. Love that. Love that for us. Means we were supposed to go this way. New waypoint added. The blue one? I think it's the blue one. So icy. So chilly. So I wasn't supposed to head towards Silent Hill. I was supposed to head this way. What's this? We just jump off and die. The end. Alright, so do we just have to find the exit again? Is that what the nightmare world is about in this one? Just finding the exit? They look the same, but like sliced up? make our way back to Sybil. Whoa! They're so fast! Can you get off of me? Bestie, stop it! Jump it! Haha! <laughs> I found the exit super fast! Oh wait, no, this is a flare. What are these? I don't know what those are! It didn't... It's so freaking hard to do the little actions it wants you to do and then to like get aiming again. Rude. A puzzle? In the middle of a chase? That's not very nice. I'm on the phone. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm coming back early. This isn't working out. Mom! Not now, honey. Mommy's on the phone. Put your damn drink down and look after her. Uh, mommy! Quack, hoot, squawk, Shush. squawk, cluck. Go show daddy. This whole trip was a bad idea. He's no better here. Worse, if anything. 
I can't put up with it anymore. I won! Mom! I won! All right! In a minute. Give me a second, Diane. Quack, who, cluck, cluck. No. I'm on the phone. Damn it. Yeah. I'm coming back early. I have to listen to it? There's not like. Mom! Not now, honey. A transcript? Put your damn drink down and look at This was an iPhone. There. Quack, hoot, squawk, squawk, cluck. Okay. Uh. Quack, hoot, squawk, squawk, cluck. Fuck. Vibes. Is that a new message or is this the same message? I know. That's the problem. It's not. Okay. I listened to that one. Monsters, can't you see I'm on the phone? Over there! No, that's where I just came from. Get off of me! Oh my god, do it! Fuck! I'm going to die. What is this? Oh, hello. Are those fish? I died. <laughs> I like how it hugged me and then I just fell over and it was like, oh. Well, I'm happy I'm out of there. Let's go back in. We can't go back in. That sucks. I do not like the nightmare world. We're gonna get hit by a car. Hello? Great winner of new every day. 
The Great Winter. What is this? Oh, it's a picture. No, message. Come on. Take your hands off me. You've had too much to drink. Yeah, I'm drunk on your love. Give it up, baby. Get off! No! Oh, God. No means no. Consent could be taken away at any point. And no consent was given at all right there. That's what we were teaching the preschoolers. Not about, like, sex or anything, but consent is consent. C is for consent. You may not touch me if I say no. You may not touch my hair. You may not touch my arm. You may not touch me if I say no. Had to tell a, a co-worker no not too long ago because she constantly was touching me and I did not like it. And I was like, could you please stop touching me? And then she had a whole story about something. And I was like, okay, well, just stop touching me. I do not like it. She also got offended. I was like, okay, <laughs> good for you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Hello? Officer? I've been trying to get through to you. You had your phone turned off? No, I just, uh, I guess the reception was out. Mr. Mason, you okay? Yes, I know where I am. I'm at the high school. I know Meanwhile, where I am. In weather like this, the gym is sometimes used as an emergency shelter. I want you to go there. Emergency shelter? Well, maybe Cheryl was taken there. Yes, go to the gym. Wait there for me. I'm going. But if she's not there, I won't wait. I just can't. This is a really weird one. So we get to the halcyon days of high school. When I was starting out, the popular a window? said it was their mom and dad that screwed a person up. But if you really want to screw someone up, I say, send them to high school. Okay. I bet you were fairly intense at school. Probably enjoyed all that learning. Nope. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to throw out some words. Nod when they fit how you were at school. Shake your head if they don't. Ready? Okay. Jock. No. Next? Slut. I wish. No. <laughs> uh, drunk. Also wish. Nope. Ah. Virgin. Wrong again. Hmm. Bully. Nope. These are all just stereotypes. Is there, and I was a never there? Slacker. I guess. I guess that's the closest thing. Okay. Let's take a different tack. I was on never the table, there. I've laid out a Hated it. Time table Didn't want to be there. Cards with lessons on them. Pick out the lessons to show me your perfect school day. Don't leave any empty. There are only four periods, and I've allocated a very generous lunch. Can lunch be all day? No, that would also suck. Um, These all suck. Why is there no just gym? I guess football. Probably, like, second. Creative writing sounds awful. Religion sounds awful. Sex ed... Math and science, awful. I guess theater. S science. Why do you not have an art class? I don't know, geography? Because I would hate literature. Because they would definitely make me read out loud, and I hate that. Creative writing, can't write, hate it. Religion, just sounds awful. Basketball, I don't like basketball. Sex ed sounds... 
Honestly, let's do sex ed. Fine. I feel like I would rather do that than geography. Or math. We'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Nice. If that was all there was to it, it would have been a breeze, wouldn't it? Yeah. Come on. Let's talk more about the bad stuff that happened at school. Is that Shmirnov? <laughs> Brosie, can I get some of that Shmirnov? It's light out. It's not just dark for darkness sake. It's locked. I'm not a fan of this GPS map, like, at all. What an... <laughs> Who the fuck would put the key? I guess, honestly, it's the school. Like, why does it matter? I'd put the key there. So I don't have to bring it with me. Just open the window, grab it real quick. Honestly, yeah, I'd put the key there. Say fuck it. Alright, if I'm not picking anything up yet, then I don't think we're going to be picking anything up at all. Dangerous controls. Are we picking up a rat? No? Okay, then why are we opening this? The rat's not a memento? Oh, there's a door. Hello. Tammy will blank for money or tequila. Let's call the number. I want to see if they do anything fun. Oh, she answered, and we're just Nate. silent on it. Is that you, Steve? Steve! Okay, I'm hanging up. Get your rocks off somewhere else. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought it, like, froze. <laughs> I didn't keep pushing. This way? What's it say? Hold on. The choking game. Space monkey. Funky chicken. California high. Sounds fun. Tell that to over 50 people who have died playing... This game over the last 10 years. Dying is no game. The choking game is dangerous and can lead to permanent injury and, in many cases, death. Don't throw your precious life away. Chasing a buzz. All students, there is a craze at the moment for young adults to try what is often called the choking game. Don't be stupid. Don't risk your, li your young lives or your health. No parent should have to bury their child. Is that through a text? I guarantee that went to no students. Because who's going to actually let their school text them? Not me. Wonderland. Char broiled hamburgers. Those are hamburgers? That looks gross. 
Ew. Can I go in there? I can! It's so snowy! Wait. Because I'm totally going to be able to climb over that wall. Is this closed? It's not closed. That's the... Oh, Wonderland. So there's the Cheshire Cat. The Wascally Wabbit. Mad Hatter. I thought that was a pizza. <laughs> Why can't you be relaxed with me? Like you should. Is it is it your parents' house? You don't want to do it there? If there's there's other places. Why you gotta be so frigid? Girl, you should get a different boyfriend. He doesn't seem like he's respecting your boundaries. Calling you frigid? Like, sure, it's fine to want sex, but, like, if he's caught, like, keeps on pushing you to do it and stuff, like, that's not very cash money. <laughs> Wavy. I can't believe they made that joke in front of Rick. Everyone knows how close he was with his to his brother. I don't... I don't know if I'm liking the little tidbits of all the stuff happening. Like, the, the memories everywhere. Because they don't really have anything to do with anything. Other than make Silent Hill seem like it was a CW show. The perfect plastic girl. What? So that's a different part of the high school. I don't know which way's extra and which way I should be going for the main story. So we're gonna go this way. Cause we have to go to the gym. I don't know if finding any of this stuff matters either though, or if it's just like, you found me, ha ha ha. Although that mattered in that game, so. <laughs> you know, what is this? Strip club? Everyone loves their kids. Family strip club? Fun for the whole family? This doesn't look like a strip club. This looks more like a brothel. Oh, it's a picture. Um, this button. Sorry if I hit you. I guess I was just mad at myself. Yep, because that makes you up for it. so much like my daughter. Just put the wig back on and uh, let's go upstairs. Ew. Ew. I'm sorry I hit you. You look so much like my daughter. Put the wig back on and we can go upstairs. Ew. The fuckery? Athletic club. There's no way in there.
I don't think I would let my kid or anyone that I love go into a freaking fast food ball pit. I probably wouldn't let them go into a ball pit at all because they're disgusting. A fast food place ball pit? Diseases. Disgusting. Oh my god, what? Connie, as in like Annie? You got all your books? Your lunch? Good. How come you changed your hair? The other girls tell you to do your hair like that? I thought you looked great with pigtails. Okay, honey. You have a nice day. Ew. Uh, this is. Ew, that was the guy that was. Sorry I hit you. Ew. We need, like, a hammer? Oh, we just pull them out with our bare hands? That's how you know we're crazy. And we're gonna get tetanus. I feel like this game's main focus so far is how many ways can we make you open a door? Oh. Okay. Someone's having a great time in the back room. It's a nice new belt, Todd. Oh, thank you, Mom. You have a nice day at school. Sure, Mom. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Sure, Mom. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's the choking game? Just killing yourself with a belt? Are we sure everyone here isn't just, like, crazily depressed? I know it's cold to do it this way, but you don't listen when I talk. Sorry it's over. I can't do this if you won't open up to me. Steve. <gasps> we heard about Steve in that phone call to Sammy. the fuck why are the lockers like mass locked that's weird right the natural world mosquitoes they carry diseases and as far as I know, they don't have a good purpose in nature. Like a lot of other bugs do. Lovely Caitlin. Caitlin? The last few weeks have been incredible. It'd be the icing on the cake if you'd accompany me accompany me to the prom say yes and i'll be on cloud nine mike i never went to prom and from what i've heard i didn't miss out on anything so you know chemistry Oh, 
Well, I guess we're going to chemistry. Is he grabbing his dick? Nah. They're just holding hands. <laughs> I didn't have, like, anything like this in my school. Like, there was, like, don't do drugs or whatever, but, like... Nothing like that. Like, po plastered around the school. Like, this is what cocaine looks like. Don't do it. Is that something? What is that? Just a weird plug. <gasps> There's blood. Oh, no. Oh, ew. No. I didn't even do this in school. I complete. I avoided doing this in school. I see no point in it. Ew. That poor froge use. Oh, that's the frog. I'm not doing that again. Oh, they're separate rooms. What? Oh, it's the TV. I guess I missed a scare. It doesn't sound like there's anything in here. Planetarium. They have a whole planetarium? That's like that dome with all the planets in it, right? Oh, wow. So now, as we move across the sky, we see another familiar face. This will be Urfa Minor, or as we like to call him, Little Bear. <sighs> What's so funny? Ah, well, I suppose I should be glad that someone in this class sees the romance in astronomy. Weird. Oh, like the little dipper? That's a face? One, two, three, and then four. Okay. What is this? Oh god, this sounds awful. It's not that one. This one. I think. Dang it, uh, flashlight off. Mandy, be my little bear. Call me Big Bear. Oh, it's right there. Be 
Give me a little bill. Call me. 555-2327. Five, 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 two, two, Was that it? Big Bear. Doors open. Excuse me? Okay. I, I kind of don't feel like doing that. Okay. <laughs> nah. Oh, that was cool. It's like an actual invisible shadow. Like my new look, Dahlia. So is that the daughter of the creepo dad? Is there anything in here, or am I just... There's nothing in there. What is this, though? school sweetheart I hope you will carry something of your time here in your heart <laughs> everyone ready for the last dance Woo. hey out of you Wait. Unlock where's... somewhere else. One. Oh. Rude. I can't use the touchpad. It's not 1053. The one that had a snow globe had something in it. Or it had a number. 1037. Oh, dang it. One, oh, three, seven. Okay, 1053, what locker is that? Dang it. Ten thirty one. Okay, that's not a bad puzzle. Bye. You 
answers to our future. We're never gonna get old. Never gonna be like our parents. Never gonna be apart. Is this just like Silent Hill CW? Oh, it's still set up for prom. God, those are blinking and they're terrible for my eyes. Who is that? My camera messing up. Sorry if I interrupted you. Oh, I didn't realize there was anyone else in here. I'm looking for an emergency shelter? I guess... You're not here for the reunion? No. Just oh, it's a that. reunion. Did everyone else get the message except for me? What a screw up. I don't see how that'd be your fault. That was elegant. Lacking in finesse, but... Ten for effort. Michelle Valdez. Harry Mason. Nice to meet you, Harry. So, what brings you here? I'm looking for my daughter. She's missing. I convinced myself she'd be here. She's a Midwich student? No, no. She's just seven. Her name is Cheryl. Cheryl Mason? Yeah. There was a Cheryl Mason when I was here. She was above me at school. Must be a different girl, same name. She's seven. I'll show you. Come look. Well, that's Cheryl from Silent go. Hill 3, I think. That's an old photo. You say she ran off? No, we were in a car accident. That can't be my daughter. <laughs> How many Cheryl Masons could there be in a small town like this? She even looks like you. There is a resemblance, but my Cheryl's just a kid. You don't <laughs> sound so sure. Come on. I'm just, I'm still, I don't know what's going on. Office. Yep. Locked. But. <laughs> what a weird doorknob. With a little persuasion. I like her. She seems dope. <laughs> You're breaking into the principal's office? I don't see any hall monitors. You broke into the rest of the right? school. What does this Carol? have to do with anything? She's still around? I remember her. She was when I graduated. I think she'll be here until someone drives a stake through her cold secretarial heart. <laughs> secretarial. That's the principal's PC. All the school records are on it. Students used to hack it to fix their grades. Hey, I was good at school. Principal Fisher was obsessed with changing his passwords. Honestly? And we're hacking into his PC to... See if you can pull up the records for Cheryl Mason. See if she's your daughter. Prove me wrong. If I do, <laughs> we get out of here? Love sure. her. Take your time. I'm just going to text my boyfriend to find out where the hell he is. Hey, honestly, if they were able to hack into the school computer to change their grades, like, good for them. They deserve that better grade. Okay, so we're just going to look around and look for the very obvious password that's somewhere. Hawaii.
I'm gonna have to type in Hawaii? Damn it, okay. This should be illegal. I mean, there's a reason it didn't carry on to the Switch. I said goodbye to bachelorhood. Freedom and happiness where? Hawaii! Well, I guess that's the honeymoon. Did I spell it wrong? H-A-W-A-I-I. Oh, this is the security questions. The greatest baseball team without question. Broski. No wonder everyone's hacking into your freaking stuff. Okay, this is going to be something. Auto and then baseball team. What's this? Oh, for the choking game? I'm guessing the security questions are randomized because it looks like there's a bunch of hints everywhere. Do we even need this? Um, I don't see anything about a baseball team. Oh, right here. No, that's racquetball. Wait, was it racquetball or... Oh, right here. Shiners. Bitch of an ex-wife's name. Well, I doubt it's her if that's whose picture is still hanging up in your on your wall. Oh, that's a dog chain. Hamlet, Henry, Twelfth Night. How am I supposed to find out your ex-wife's name also if you feel about like that about your ex-wife then like you probably just shouldn't have been married in the first place <laughs> come on divorce papers nope that'd be convenient wouldn't it Nine four three three. Hi, this is Valerie. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Wait, can we call Sybil? Harry? Midwich. Emergency shelter. I'm there! Who's Dahlia? Wait, is that Dahlia?
<laughs> that was weird. That's... Do why do we have Dahlia's number? What? Val... Er... E... Sunday 45. Cool, I don't have to go through it. Shit. You break it? It just froze on me. It is her. It is her. We moved? You don't remember because of the accident? Simmons Street. It's not a great neighborhood. Why would we move there? I guess the cop was right. My ID was old, that wasn't my house. What else did I forget? There's a phone number. Why don't you call it? 8432. There's no reception. I'll be outside. There was just reception. Yes? Cheryl? No, Dahlia. You want me to find her? Who's calling? It's her father, Harry Mason. Is she okay? Harry? Is she okay? Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry? What's the... Leave me alone! What the fuck? Oh god, we're gonna have to start running again. Wait, can we go... The door's iced over. <coughs> hold on, hold on. We gotta look where we're going before we do anything. Wait, what? Over there? But I'm really confused, especially on the front that Silent Still is a, still a functional town. And this can't be like a remake of the first game. So like maybe this is like much later. And Harry's just kind of losing it now. If I'm right, this is where we want to go. Shut behind you. I guess you're on your own. Show me some balls, okay? They're inside, so just go find them and get photos. Gonna nail that sleazy bastard, right? I'll try and get the doors open. Get moving. We need 
photos of something. Something sleazy. Okay. What? Prime paparazzi spots. The courtyard, the po parking lot, and the locker rooms. So, the lock locker room. Damn it, I was hoping we'd get out of here, like, real fast. This is the courtyard, I think, so we want a picture of that. I don't think that worked. Okay. We ran through the locker room to get here. So it should be this way. Did it change, or did I just go the wrong way? Because I totally seen, like, the red light where I'm supposed to get the picture. Right here. Is that a paparazzi spot, or is that just, like, being a creeper? Like, that's not sleazy, that's just being creepy. Uh-oh. Okay, so lockers... Courtyard... Dang it, come on! Parking lot. I don't know where the parking lot is. I love that it doesn't open the door sometimes. Do I do it? Okay, so I can do that with just the nunchuck. I still gotta fight the monsters off with, uh, with both of them, though, which sucks. Right here. This one might be sleazy. No, that's not sleazy. That's just, like, they're hugging. I don't think this person has done anything wrong. Come on, back out, back out. You're taking a shower? How sleazy. Good thing Harry's like a freaking track star. He a runner, he a track star. What? Who's that in the car with Teach? 
dirty. He's old enough to be your father. Wait, is that us? Are we a teacher? Okay, well... Check this out, naked and wild for the camera. That's Cheryl. Now we know how she got her A staying after class. Were they kissing? That could be something. Unless he's just she's just seeing him for like support or something. Harry? I was Is about that... to head off, but thought I ought to wait a little longer. Thanks. You okay? Any luck with the phone? They didn't make any sense. I need to go there. The Simmons Street address? That's the other side of town. No, that's so far. You got a car? I was planning on getting a ride with John. There's my boss's SUV. Yeah, I'm looking after it while she's on vacation. It's at the club where I work, not far from here. I could give you a lift. Oh, that would be great. Lead the way. She got real dolled up for this reunion. Tiara and all. I should give you my jacket. I'm okay. You keep it. It's cold. Yeah, you it's like freezing. Accident. I can't take your coat. Well, if you want it, just ask. <laughs> I'll holler. I hope Cheryl isn't out in this weather. I'm sure she's waiting for you at home, Harry. I wish I could be so sure. When's the snow supposed to stop? Hmm, if I'd seen the forecast, I wouldn't be here. I'd be watching TV from under my comforter. <laughs> mm, right though. A bowl of champarado. <laughs> a plate of churros. You know churros? I make the best. You know churros. Taste. I'll take your word for it. You know what a churro is? Honestly, I'd be surprised too. <laughs> I keep looking at the camera because I feel like it's messing up, but I'm not sure. Massachusetts? Yeah. Well, not Massachusetts so much, but I want to be with John. And John? Well, he wants it too. It's just hard. We've been together for five years, but we never lived together. Now we're out in the world, living our lives. John's a lucky guy. Yeah. He's probably just lousy at showing it. I know lawyers. They're not so touchy-feely. Oh, John's not like that. Back in school, he was very passionate. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. You believe that? Absolutely. Oh, looks like a nice place. Can I see some ID? Over 21 zone. Sorry, <laughs> man was taken by a cop. <laughs> really? How come? I'm not sure she trusts me. Well, I'll let you in just this once, but first sign of trouble. The Balkan. Last time I was in a nightclub was for my... I need to answer this. The keys are in my room upstairs. Run up and grab them. John? Where have you been? I guess I can let you off the hook then. But you're gonna have to make it up to me. Uh-huh. Are we gonna go grab the keys? Or whatever? Come on. You can do it. Dahlia.
cookie. Oh, she lives here for right now. Oh, that was Harry. He's a friend. Scared. Nothing. Pez. Okay. That must be John. Cute. Keys? And she disappeared, didn't she? I'm not going through her clothes. Why did it do that? I got the keys. I just need to finish my drink. Take a seat. I need something to warm me up in this weather. It's a shot. Things go okay with John? Are you sipping it? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna come meet me here once I've dropped you off. This weather, such a pain. Oh, I should have offered you a drink. No, no, it's fine. I'm confused enough as it is. I just want to get going, put today behind me. Hey, everything's gonna be fine, you know? We'll be there soon, and, and then you can see your wife and daughter and- Wife? You're married, aren't you? You're wearing a ring. You okay? No, I'm a bit lightheaded. I gotta go clear my head. <sighs> hmm. Am I wiping the mirror? Michelle? Who the hell is Michelle? Just practicing my signature. We ready to go? Where's Michelle? Funny. Come on, let's get going. I'm going to drive. You, Mr. Harry, are way over the limit. Stop. This is out of control. I came in here with a girl called Michelle. She was going to drive me to Simmons Street. Who are you? Are you on something? I'm Dahlia. Hottest piece of ass you'll ever see in this town. You are Harry Mason. Generally, a fun guy to be with. What are you wearing these for? Stop being a dick and let's get going. We'll get to Simmons Street and see Cheryl. Cheryl? Your daughter? Oh, come on, you're not that wasted. That's why we're in this lousy club. To get the SUV so we can drive up to Simmons Street. That's right, but... It's just... No more craziness. You're freaking me out. He is... Is he dead? And is, like, currently still in that car crash? This is weird. Like weirder than normal today. Silent Hill. Some people like the snow. Signals are down. We make a pretty sorry pair, huh? What? We're always so wasted. I'm pretty and you're vacant. You think we'd like each other if we ever met sober? I am sober. Well, that would explain you weirding me out. I don't think I am. You're not getting it. I don't know who you are. Maybe it was the car accident. I don't know. But you're acting like we know each other, and I've never seen you before in my life. Seriously? You are screwed up. It's scary. I, I feel like I remember everything. But there's you, my daughter, things that don't fit. And I think I'm seeing things. Do you like what you see? Sorry? If I'm a stranger to you, what kind? You think I'm hot? You're young. Oh boy, Harry. You're really messed up. Oh, 
I don't understand what's going on. I think that's how it's supposed to be, but I'm just like... Shit, the bridge is up. Like, are we... What can we do? Uh, am I sure we're playing a Silent Hill game? Control room. See if you can get it moving. <sighs> okay. Look, don't flip out on me. No forgetting what you're doing and wandering off. Hey, I got it. I'll be waiting. Jesus. Alright. Okay, I'm back. I took a little break. So, I looked into the game a little bit. And it is based off... It's a reimagining of the first Silent Hill. Set in a separate universe. Which means, basically, the devs didn't like how the first Silent Hill was. And they wanted to redeem it. Redeem the series. Because they also didn't like Silent Hill 3. Which I think is honestly a little ridiculous. But it answers questions on why this feels so weird. <laughs> Because it's in a different universe, not connected to any of the other games in any way. Essentially a Silent Hill fan fiction. Okay, so... We gotta go up here. Three, four, one, one. Was this it? <laughs> it's Jimmy here. Who's this? Mr. Capra? My name is Harry Mason. I need to lower the bridge. Hey, hey well, wait, will you? You know what time it is? Probably woke my kids. I'm sorry, <sighs> but this is an emergency. I've been in a car accident. My daughter needs my help. I, I think you hung just, up. Okay, okay. Oh, never mind. You want to know how to operate the bridge controls? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Mason, listen carefully. It's going to cut out before it he tells us how to do anything. Hello? Then push the Okay, we gotta push the button and then do He's stuff. He's sleeping up there? Let's get moving. Okay. Ah. I think the music broke. Uh. Yeah, Mr. Mason? I guess we got cut off, and I can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. It's going to cut uh, out again. First, you push the start button. A colored light will come on. If it's blue, move the center lever. Now, if it's red, move the left lever. If it's green, don't do anything. Just wait. Uh, and if the yellow light comes on, move the right lever. You just got to keep doing this until the bridge engages, okay? Best of luck, Mr. Mason. Okay, so that's why it cut out. So we have, like, instructions. So, right lever. Left lever. Don't do anything. And then middle lever. This seems like a terrible bridge control. It's wicked! I think every time I open a door, it's loading everything, and it just cannot handle it. So this is Dahlia, okay. This is the old woman from every other Silent Hill. Level with me, Harry. It's a joke. You put what? Me on. No, 
I told you. Because if you got a problem with me, but you're too chicken shit to come out and say it, that's lovely. It's what? Pathetic. Have some self respect. I'm not making this up. I'm not. Just drive. Okay. I locked the door. You should probably lock your door, too. No, it's not okay. I think you're full of shit. Dahlia, listen. I'm not gonna sit here and have you screw around with me. I don't need the hassle. <laughs> Dahlia! Don't do that to me. Freaking high pitch sound rude. Uh oh. Ruh row raggy. How do we. What do we do? First, we turn up the heat. Try and thaw her out. Um. There was nothing in here before. There's not now. Is this timed? not get out like at all oh hi oh this is it's just a timed thing isn't it as in there's like nothing we're, we can do Over soon. Oh, there's a skylight. I love how the flashlight's still working. <laughs> oh, it worked that time. Go back for her. Seriously? I... He's letting her die. That's worse than he's. I, I don't even know what he is. Oh Fucking psycho. Oh god. Selfish. Nasty, but inevitable. Everyone is going to die, even if we like to pretend otherwise. You could die tonight, 
in your sleep. Why doesn't that terrify you? It does. What are you talking How about? How would you like to die? No, wait. Let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Yet to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute, then gone. Okay, game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who is merely sleeping. Divide them up. Left, dead. Right, sleeping. What? Can I, like, zoom? Okay, we can zoom in on them. This is weird. None of them look dead. They're all sleeping. For all I know, they're all just sleeping. Done? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you thought it was a trick question. I expected no less. Okay, let's get back to it. What a weird question. I guess it could be used to psych go analyze you. Um Is the music just breaking constantly? Cause it like comes in and then it just ends. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Dahlia. Who's Dahlia? A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. I could have died of hypothermia. My clothes? You were soaked to the skin. I grabbed what I could find here. <sighs> we need to talk. When I was at the station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. Wheelchair running now. Okay, I, I prefer this. I don't have to aim. Go faster. Crash. <laughs> you kicked it open. I love that. Okay, I was seeing if I can, like... Turn myself by, like, doing one wheel rather than the other, but, like... I couldn't. Can we go back for Sybil? Nope. Oh, wait, that's a... Good sound, question mark? No, that's a bad sound.
Like, I get what they were going for with, uh, monsters and whatever, but, like, it's so hard when that's how you aim, too. I'm gonna assume this is the right way to go. And I'm hoping there's no puzzles that we have to do with it either. Start from the beginning. So we gotta go. Can I zoom? No, impossible. <gasps> I didn't know I could do this. Oh, we gotta get to the ER. Oh, I feel like I was setting that way, so just straight left. Okay. Stuck on the monsters? I wonder, if I turn off the light, will they like notice me less? I didn't really say anything about that, so I don't know. Okay. Okay, I was heading in the right direction, so it's just straight ahead now. So wherever we go, we gotta go left. Is that just like an ice block? Oh, my god. I don't know what, what the heck. Now I can't aim. Is it possible to aim back at the TV? Uh. Alright, well I know where I'm going and I was going the right direction before, so let's just head that way again. And hope that it works out. All right, I think having the flashlight off is working. Not completely sure, but it feels like it is. I 
gonna check the map, but I don't know if I can. No time to check, just keep running. I'm in a fucking circle. It was petting my head. Why? Which one is map? The left button is map. I can't run with the map out. So I... I'm guessing I went through this door and ended up... It doesn't show all the doors though. It shows entrances and that's it. I can draw, I guess. the floor? No, it's ice. I was like, is it just water? Huh. My little sensor bar that I'm using is on batteries. Instead of just having an on and off button, it does a timer. And the timer keeps going off. Oh no, it's dead. It's dead. I just put new batteries in it and it died. Seriously? Seriously. Okay. Back. That entire section is frustrating. And I I don't like the nightmare parts. They look cool, but you're running through them. So there's no, like, you can't even take in the atmosphere. What is this? Anyways, we got a new message. I have the mother of all hangovers. Last night was too much for little old me. What happened with Linda's SUV? Who was that from? It's from Dahlia. Okay. So she's alive. And it's just weird stuff happening. Yeah, they say she'll be okay. She's in good spirits. She liked the chocolates and the bear. Though she says she'd rather see you. Yeah, I know, I know. Tell mom about the song. Right, the song. Yeah, I got the radio to play her song. She loved that. And now she's going to go to sleep. Visiting's almost up and she needs a rest. You'll be in tomorrow? Okay. Hospital visit. Alcamilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. Oh, it's right here. As requested, here's a popular tune. Daddy's Girl. Oh, did I guess the right one? She's going to be fine. I want to go visit, but he's doing a good enough job. Spoiling her, <laughs> as you'd expect. Don't want to cast a cloud over it. No use getting her hopes up, you know? I'm just so glad she's okay. I think I guessed the right one, unless, like, all of them are right. You know what I mean? 
Can I, like, look at them again? What if I take a picture? I don't want to do that running part again. We're saving. I think the game itself keeps turning the flashlight on. And that was like attracting... I think the ice is gone. And I think the light attracts the monsters to you. And it didn't really tell us that. Unless it did tell us that and I completely overlooked it. <laughs> Are you okay? You're not from the hospital. No. I had an accident. That yours? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. I'm not uh -oh. making any sense, am I? It's okay. Let's get you inside. You need help. I want to go home. I have medicine and gauze there. I'm a nurse. It's a few blocks north. I just need to rest. Well, My camera is definitely way. messing up, and it's freaking me out, yeah, man. It's I'm freaking me out. Because it fixes every time I look Don't at worry. it. Don't Head wounds always bleed a lot. Lots of blood vessels close to the surface. It's nothing serious. I can clean up back in my place. Lisa. Lisa. I'm Harry. Harry Houdini. <laughs> Sorry. I'm always saying goofy things that come into my head. It's not far to my apartment. We can jaywalk in this weather. <laughs> Where did you say you were headed? Uh, home. My daughter went there after our accident. What happened? I crashed my car. And... I crashed I my car into a bridge. I, I up, don't Cheryl care. Gone. And she made it all this way? I know it doesn't quite add up. I... I can't piece together. But she called me. And then I spoke to someone else on the phone. There are times when things don't feel real. I feel like I'm losing my grasp on the truth of it. But other times everything is fine. This feels real. Hey, <laughs> I'm as real as they come. Though some patients mistake me for an angel. That's the medication. And it's the medication. Really got the bags under my eyes to prove it. <laughs> Vibes. You been a nurse long? If you add up all the overtime, back-to-back 12-hour -back shifts, compared to a standard 9 to 5, I've been in the hospital for 40 human years. God. I've slept through half of it. Like tonight, fell asleep at the wheel. Hell of a wake-up call. We were in the hospital. Why didn't we get gauze and stuff from the hospital? Not far now. You still feeling okay? Yeah. Fine. If you work there, you know where all that so stuff tell is. So me about your daughter. Cheryl? She's, uh... She's young, bright, happy. Likes collecting stuff. You know, bits and pieces. Bugs. She loves bugs. Bugs? Like dirty, creepy bugs? No, no. Butterflies. Pretty bugs. She has a collection. Dead ones? Yeah. Still creepy. <laughs> Not really. It is. You seem to see the creepy and everything. Is that a nurse thing or just you? Definitely a nurse thing. We have a unique outlook on life. Whatever happened to Bedside Manor? We still got that. For our special cases. We're one to talk about, like, Bedside Manor and stuff. Like, manners or whatever. What? Oh, I thought there were two giant holes in the wall. I was like, what is happening? We don't need the flashlight. Here we are. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. Girl, you live like the this? Lord has a thing for nurses. I mean, the hallway is... Okay, it's actually pretty nice in here. Okay. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. 
Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes, come on, sit. Sit! So we don't need those glasses that she Watch took off TV of us? If you want. I won't be long. You know, last time I had a guy in my apartment, it was summer. During the heat wave. Small storm. Small? No, oh, freak snowstorm hit small town. Early, but still. Time flies. Oh, I don't want to look at her. She's changing. Can I change the channel? You know, you're a nice guy, Harry. Thanks. I feel safe around you. You're I don't know okay. if you should. Headache. Be a hero. He seems to be leveling out, though, a little bit. Check the cabinet. Get me some yellow ones. Yellow ones? Sure. Bathroom's in there. That's not the bathroom. In here? Look in the cabinet. Oh my god. Bottom shelf. That's blue. I like how we're just dumping them out. Seriously? Oh my god. I mean, that looks yellow, but it could be green, so we're gonna keep looking. Just gonna mess up all her pills. Red. Okay, yeah, it's first. Duh. No! There we go. I was like, I don't want the blue ones. That's cute. Thanks. Water? No, fine. Self medication. <laughs> the one true perk of the healthcare profession. I don't think it's a nurse would say no to water. <laughs> okay. Because, like, you can mess up your now. throat. You let yourself out. Should we. Should we leave her, though? Is that a choice we can make? Because, like... You feel guilty about everything. When we all lived in huts and wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Food, water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If I don't know, I still worry about someone that, breaking into my house. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. Why are, why are we at this therapist? He's like, giving off devil vibes. Okay, this is my favorite. Let is this all in our head? Some friends of mine. This is King Harold. His daughter, the chaste Celestine, a prince called Wilhelm, and a bull. He doesn't have a name. Love the bull. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. 
That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull, who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? Um, yes. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull, who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? Um. At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? No, I'm not going to understand if it, either way. Okay, so like, I don't understand why the king married... I'm thinking that for them too, because first of all, she ignored the danger signs and stuff and just ran into it. The bull's just being a bull, existing and such. Um, he's try. Does he know? There's. I need context. Does he know that she does not love him? Because if so, super guilty. I don't know why he married them. So like. I'm going to say this. Done? Yes. Poor Wilhelm. You think if he really loved her, he would never have forced the marriage. Yes. I find the best cure for guilt is to never get caught in the first place. Let's continue. But if you catch yourself... waypoint okay she's chilling is she okay you good hope she's good um front door here wait is that where we came in why is the shutter closed No, I think we might have actually came in from around the corner. What is that? <laughs> Helps to follow the rules. No visitors after 10 p.m. That's stupid. No music on Sundays, also stupid. No items to be placed on window sills. Fine, I guess. Kinda stupid still. Newspaper deliveries are not allowed, also stupid. Two weeks notice required for all parties. Fine. Still stupid. More reasonable, but stupid. No door ornaments unless committee approved. Also stupid. All those rules are stupid. Okay, so is this the way we should go? Yes. Um. Haha, 
like the little drug. Where's the waypoint? Is this it? Why did it zoom in all the way over there? Is this the waypoint? No, that can't be it. I... Okay, the waypoint's red. This? Just like street in general? So like... It looks like we go through the mall. Cause that way's closed. That way's closed. And if we go straight... That also leads to the mall. Okay, it looks like we go this way then. Or not. Oh yeah, we go this way. Okay. So this is just a normal winter. It's not the middle of summer. I'm not liking this as a retelling. Retelling. I'm gonna say that now. Um... A reimagination, I guess. I, it, it's a reimagining. I guess that's fine. It's really weird. Because I don't really see how it's Silent Hill, but... Are we not supposed to be this way? Where do we go? Over here. Hey Harry, Michelle here. Hope you made it home okay. I'm still waiting for John. What a weekend. Can we call people? Let's call people because like she just disappeared on us and I don't understand why. Harry, everything okay? No. Everything is so strange. Harry? Sorry, ignore me. I'm tired, it's been a long day. Your John show up yet? No, I've got a hundred excuses, but no John. Stick it in Aww. there, kid. Sure, you too. Call back later, I'm sleeping. Fair enough. Is she gonna answer? Last time we seen her, she was frozen. Officer Bennett. Where are you? Harry, you've got to stop screwing around with me. Tell me where you are. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that one just led to nothing. What is this? Doggy bone? Okay. Hello? This fell down. I know it's fine, though, because there's been no danger whatsoever except in the nightmare world. All of this has been just kind of chill. Chill story. And then annoying nightmare realm. Is 
It's weird that there's like a canal going through Silent Hill now, by the way. So, this way. Oh, this looks like Silent Hill 4. Which I haven't played, but I have watched a little bit of gameplay on. What a tiny little laundry mat. be honest, Happy the Mall was very short. Wait. No, never mind. I think we're right back at the... Yeah, we're back, back at the apartments. Dang it. Can we crawl over? Like... I'd say there's enough space to climb over. So, like, where do we go, then? Because all of these are elevators and they're closed. What's that? Stop watching me. My money is good. Why am I not welcome? I am not... Am I not pretty enough? My clothes too old for you? Too old? If you hate me, I will hate you. My money is good. I don't know what that means. Okay, back into the mall. Uh, this way? Lisa? Harry. Oh, Harry. I don't feel well. What's wrong? I woke up. I had such a terrible dream. Blood everywhere. Oh, God, Harry. Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. Please hurry. I... Okay. We're gonna head back. So this game does have multiple endings. I I want to say four. I don't know how to get them though. I think it's all like little things you do add up. Probably a lot to do with the psych tests. Oh, God. Lisa? No. Don't move. No. How'd she get this here? What... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. 
What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You There's been a lot of car accidents. I didn't shut up. I know oh, you're God. not Harry Mason. How are we going to get out of this one? Not Harry Mason? Why are we not Harry Mason? Oh, God. We're going to have to escape again. Oh, poor girl. New waypoint added because we have to escape yet again, probably through the mall. Oh, just to the entrance. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a puzzle, isn't it? Oh, it changed. Interesting how it's like stacked up. New entrance. It said push, but we pulled. The lies. Oh, we are on glass right now. Oh god, there's so many. I really hate these parts. Because the fighting off only works like half of the time. And then the giant maze is, isn't helpful either. Plus, there's so many, they're so fast. And I got stuck on them a lot in the last section. Like, I would throw them off, and then I would not be able to walk past them. Oh. Wasn't expecting to be able to go up here. What is that? Oh, it's a door. A slight moment of peace. Oh, it's right here. Don't make me go back out there. Okay, so this is just a little puzzle. I think. You uh gonna be home when we get back? Sure. Sure. Why are we no, still walking? Fine. Why are we still walking? Oh uh, sure. Here. She wanted some gum. It's hardly spoiling her. 
wait. No, I don't want those colors. I'm... Now I can't move at all. I want my favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? Mom knows. <laughs> I'm sure she does. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, well, she won't tell me. The mascot? The cartoon bird? Okay. Like this, sweetie? Yes! Okay, the mascot for the cartoon bird. My nunchuck's not working. There we go. I remember. It's, oh my god, why is this happening? yellow in it. Is it this? Is it this? I guess I gotta fix my nunchuck and then go out there and try and find a cartoon bird. Hold on. Okay. Found the bird. Middle of the mall. Super annoying. The colors are purple, pink, red, and yellow. And I just, I gotta keep doing this until they pop up. Okay, we got one pink. Purple. Okay, so <laughs> apparently the game, the 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 hint is gumball shake up. Apparently, we can grab this and shake it. Okay. Purple. Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. I was... <laughs> I had to look that up. I didn't know you could shake the top gumball thing. I was getting very annoyed again. Girls love shopping. Hey, girls. Welcome back to Toluca Mall, home of the experience. Whatever you're looking for, we have it here. The latest fashions, the greatest salons, top eats, and the latest movies. Feel like a princess for a day, every day, here at Toluca Mall. Wait, what is that? Gumballs. Come on, on save some for later. I'll keep this one for Mom. That's a great idea. We didn't Come seem on. happy about that. Last one of the escalators is it. Is our phone, like, finally dying? No, it's still at slightly 
green. I'm gonna be honest, I honestly don't care about side stuff at this point. I kind of just want to get to the end. So I'm gonna... Do we have a waypoint? I guess we should just get to the end of Toluca Mall. Like, honestly. So let's see if there's another door. That one's open, but like... Mm. Oh, the family pet! Oh god, this could be... Well, it's not normal Silent Hill, so like... Yeah, it's probably fine. If this was like a normal Silent Hill game, I'd imagine, oh, actually that. Also like freaky pet monsters. Oh, it's a memento stored with a dead hamster. Gotcha. I'm looking for a dog. Oh, the feet. Here. Oh, you, you're looking for that dog? No, no, no. Or, uh, not this dog. One that looks the same. Exactly the same? Right. Oh, you're in oh, luck. Oh, God. Well, that's not... That's not good. Hello? An actual kind of creepy moment? And ended. Never mind. Store managers and retail staff have spent another great month at Toluca Mall, but we're stop not stopping yet. The job providing the perfect shopping experience is never done. This month, we are focusing on customer emotions. Random mystery shoppers will be deployed to ensure that each store in the mall is focusing on lifting the mood of their customers. Always remember, you're not here to sell. You're here to make people happy. The happier they are, the more money they will spend. True. Stores who fail to satisfy our mystery shoppers will be contacted by the brand manager. Keep putting smiles on faces. Was it this? I don't know what the safe combo is. Dream. Oh, there's a key. Problem is, I can't see the track. Haha, <laughs> wrecked. It broke the window? That's a bad design. Oh no, it's not. It didn't break the window. It's just how it is. There's a hole cut in it for some reason. I don't feel like finding whatever that's for. Unless we have to at some point, then I will, but like. It's probably just for a memento. Bella. There's the toucan, by the way. Oh! <gasps> no! I did not mean to do that. Harry? I guess you're busy. I just wanted to touch base and make sure you got home okay. John turned up finally. We're headed out for a bite to eat. Okay, bye. Here, let's call her. 
I didn't mean to do that. New looks. Gift shop. Sorry, we're in the car. Can't hear you. It's okay. Who's calling? Harry, I think. Michelle? I'll call back when there's reception. I didn't mean to hang up. I was... Just press the button stupidly. So it was the ball. But what I got... She's so cute. She loves me so much and keeps trying to lick my face. I call her Holly. Aww. Little doge. So we can go into this one? Congratulations on your... Hold century? Best wishes for the next 50. Where's the... On your 20th wedding anniversary, 5020. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. Enjoy your memories on your special day. Oh. In sympathy, hearts are with you at this sad time. Treasure the memories. Hold them near your heart. Oh, something's happening. batteries i think i got a message so um what was that code again oh yeah i know you told me i got a lot to remember strings well, then jazz. How, how am i supposed to oh wait no no i get it okay strings then jazz This one was strings. 2050? Did that hit one? Okay, no, yeah. Okay, so it was just 2050. The puzzles in this game are really just laid out for you in the phone calls. I feel like the only weird one was the gumball machine, but that was just me not realizing you can shake the thingy. Knife? Why is there a knife in there? I got the afternoon off. Those uh, those mall marketer goons were all over the store taking photos. They had, they had a bunch of stupid models pretending to be customers. <laughs> Happy families, these uh, smiley, smiley moms, dads, and kids. And you know the customers we get in are not that good looking. They're not that good looking. Why would they hire models? Nah. What is that? Oh, it's just like a garbage can. It's just trash. Oh, 
I thought something was moving over there, but that would have been interesting. Okay, well, is it on the other side? Because it's kind of annoying that I can hear it on this side. It's this. Another profitable day in the mall. Today I bagged myself a nice top, memory cards, two CDs, cheap necklace, pair of jeans, pretty ring. Dopey guard spotted me again. Didn't say a word. Hope he's not planning to make a career out of this. Oh, they stole a bunch of stuff. Problem child? Sinreal? Contra? I recognize Contra. Fresh mints. Toy. Did I press it? Oh, it just, it does it automatically. Easiest claw machine ever. Frankenstein? Uh, three, six, six, three. Wait, what was it? Three, six, six, three. Welcome to Cinephone. Take a listen to the forthcoming features in your area. Together forever. True love against all odds. Two star-crossed lovers fight to be together. Their passion, their story. Kiss me. Kiss me like it's the first taste you've ever tasted. Your lips are all I know. Movie <laughs> audiences across America okay. have taken this couple to their hearts. A romance for our times. Together. Forever. Rated PG-13. Okay. Look, it's the only taste you've ever tasted. What? What does that mean? <laughs> well, there's the movie. Is that the only movie playing? What a terrible theater. Play that awful sound in my ear. Never do that again. That was terrible. That was awful. Miss you, Harry. It's boring without you. I thought that was a dog. <laughs> it's the girl from the other side. Like, you can only see her hair. Green 
Green Lion Pawn Shop. Oh, it's a sword. I was like, what is that? A broken TV. A few gas masks. Guess we're going in a pawn shop. <gasps> a peacock. I don't like that. Poor little peacock. Teddy bear? So we gotta... That was easy. There was something else we could look at in there. It's a little butler right there. We Ouroboros. Does it matter that I'm taking this? Like, is it like, oh, you're stealing. So we're going to give you a bad ending. Or is it like, oh, it's a memento. It just doesn't matter. It's a collectible. Because I can see it going either way. Is it you can? Is this our house? Do we live above a pawn shop? Yeah, totally is. I think that's the <laughs> the cover photo. Cheryl, sweetie, is that you? You've been gone for so long, I started to worry. Sweetie? Who's this? Is this the mom? Who the hell are you? Harry? Who is this? How do you know me? Where's Cheryl? Still at the lighthouse, maybe. Lighthouse? lighthouse? What are you doing here, Harry? Looking for Cheryl. Isn't this my house? Who are you? You look really good. Who are you? We're soulmates, you and I. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Uh, was that the... Was that the voice on the phone? Okay. Oh God, we're in this nightmare fucking hellscape again. I hope it's just a puzzle and then we're out because I don't I don't want to run from the monsters. I hate it. Silent Hill 2 stairs? Silent Hill 4 stairs. jumping off let's do it let's jump silent hill 2 stuff is this like legit doing silent hill 2 style like oh look big hole we're just gonna jump right away yup no reason at all for it to do that but it is I feel like this would be more 
effective if I could look around easier instead of all slow. Because I think one of those pixel pictures were, was Cheryl, and then I don't know what the rest were. All right, the game's getting more surreal, which makes me think we're towards the end. Because it's it's supposed to be a short game. Wait, is that a good sound? Like, should I be heading towards it? Answer was yes. There's a door. Crying? It's a TV. Do I have a waypoint? I very much doubt it, but... Okay, no waypoint. We're just... Raw dogging it. Love that for us. Oh, that's a bad sound. That would look interesting. I don't know if it's point. I guess we just run. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to do it and it's not doing anything. Now I gotta point at the screen again and get stuck on the monster. So we got. Can you not? <laughs> so we gotta go towards the crazy sound. So I don't know if it's like repeating. Oh, that's what I'm that weird. Yeah. The sound got really intense there, but then, like, it didn't? Oh, is it because of the monsters? Is it doing that because of the monsters and I'm just stupid? No, it's not. The monsters make a static sound. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm trying to follow the sound, but like, it's not. Also, it turned on the light, the flashlight again. Which I don't appreciate. Okay, so I, I guess we're, D did we find the right door? Or is it random and like, we just had to like outlive it. Cause like, I went through that door a few times and I was following the little sound like I thought I was supposed to be doing and that was not what I was supposed to be doing, apparently. Okay, we're slowly flipping the room. Love it. Love what you dumb with the place. Very chic. And we jump again. Because Silent Hill is all about big old holes and jumping into them. Okay, so is there going to be more to look at?
Okay, the sound, the high pitched screeching that it's doing for no reason, is like legit making me sick, and I don't like it. It hurts, and it's making me feel queasy. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'm happy this isn't the solution, honestly, because it'd be a crappy solution. Do to do. Do do. Like a good sound. Really? See, I feel like I'm getting somewhere and then the noise stops and then I feel like I'm going nowhere at all. I was like, maybe the pictures are a hint, but like, it doesn't seem like they are. <laughs> Why does my camera do this? I don't understand. Pause. And then it fixes itself. <laughs> it fucking fixes itself. I don't understand. Piss me off. Yeah, I was looking at the pictures. I was like, maybe the right way to go is like has the pictures like upright, but like I don't think that's anything to do with anything. It might legit just be a door maze. And the high-pitched screeches might just be the monsters. I'm honestly not sure at this point. Maybe the goal is just to knock everything over. I, I don't know. No, I'm gonna go with icy path. I'm gonna go whatever way is icy. It, it looks like maybe... Maybe that's it? Okay, I think that was it in the end. Whatever way was icy. I didn't notice because everything looked icy. Is that like her stepdad? Cause like Cheryl. This is your room. But you're not in it. Aren't like the game's title, Shattered Memories. What why the fuck would you do that? Obviously, our memories are shattered. I don't know if it's because of the car accident or if we're... Usually in Silent Hill fashion, we've done something fucked up, but this isn't like any of the other Silent Hills. We've either done something fucked up or, like, we're cursed and no, are we're destined to somewhere. do something fucked up. We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriages sour. 
You're such a pessimist. Think I'm being cynical? Yes. Divorce does that to you. Come on. Well, good you thing you're not a marriage, marriage counselor. Can really last. Yeah, I do Should believe a couple it can. Stay together for the kids. No. Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? Also, no. You think sex becomes stale after marriage? Probably not. I'm not married. You know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my matchmaker test. You are the one asking me yes or no questions, bruh. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. Done. All finished. Okay. Now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. Are you therapisting or just like provoking me? Because you seem like a dick. Harry? Harry? Were you dreaming? Are you okay? What are you doing here? This place is... Your home, right? I saw the photos of you in the corridor, you and your family. How did you get Cheryl here? Cheryl isn't here. I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. Now I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Thank you. So you're Harry. John. Well, don't mind me. I'm sure you two have lots of catching up to do. John, don't be silly. John seems like he might be the jealous type, or he's just like, um, joking nice around. Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space. Hold on. We're going to reset the recording. Maybe that's what's wrong. Because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, face cam didn't record during any of that, apparently. So, either this video isn't going to have face cam, or... It's just gonna have a scam for the second half because I'm not doing any of that again. Twins cool. out over engine size. I'd spot the car for a family any day. Aww. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. Huh? It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I wanted to do things right. What are you saying? This reunion, this weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't what? Do this. Not now. Just... If not now, when? Where? Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months, but you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness. Maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. You're not thinking right. It's been too Is this long like the text that happened with Steve? Oh, no. no, Michelle. Like you never listen and I'm breaking up with this, you. Right? Over texts. Because you We've never been listen. Running on empty for a long time. Living on fumes. It isn't a relationship. It's a courtesy. I she seems to really it. love you. It is. You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't mm. listen to this. I can't do this anymore. Wow. 
the dramatics. John. Wait, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't go. Which way did they go? I don't see any footprints. This way? They just look like tire tracks, though. She left right here. And there's no footprints. <clears throat> okay, I wanted to follow them, make sure they're okay, because she's in her fucking reunion dress still. But, like... I doubt they ran to the sewers. Where'd they go? Looks like we weren't gonna make it anywhere anyway. The road's blocked by snow. There's the lighthouse. I... I... I think the music is breaking a lot. It's supposed to be like dynamic music, I think. But like... <laughs> it's just been kind of playing a few notes and then stopping. And I don't know if that's because I'm playing on the Wii U or if it's just broken like that, but... It's not great, I'm gonna be honest. Are we gonna dredge through the freaking sewers water? Okay, cool. Ah! Sorry about last night. I was upset. You were upset. I get it. Dahlia. Hey, can we call... Michelle? Hi, you're through to Michelle. I'm doing something exciting right now, so you'll have to call back later. So, like, did Lisa actually die? Lisa here. Is that you, Mom? You're the only one who ever leaves messages on this machine. It's a message. Not that I don't appreciate it or appreciate you buying me the machine in the first place. I mean, maybe next birthday you get me something a little less practical, more, um, I don't know, exciting? Hey, <laughs> it's nice we get to talk like this. I'll call you back. It's nice we get to talk like this. Oh. Cheryl? Daddy? You shouldn't come. No, sweetie, it's I... It's not safe. Please, don't come. The fuck is that? Just garbage? Harry? Harry? I need to reach Harry. the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Harry, we need to talk. Are we going through a tube? Let's go through a tube. What is that? Oh, the fishy's still alive. Oh. Happy bond. Well, that was messed up. Can you please run? Are we out of the sewers already or did I yeah, okay, we didn't I didn't turn around on myself.
<laughs> this game legit is just like, how many different ways can we make you open up doors with the Wiimote? It's kind of funny. Excuse me? Are we back in town? Doors and drawers. Ew. What a racist thing to have outside. Like, it legit had red skin. Like, that's... Ew. Was that snow? Did it just fly off? Here. Finally. Mm, place hasn't changed a bit. How do oh I get over gosh. there? Have you seen the lake? Come on, let's go! She's got the right idea. Let's just go with the flow. We're on vacation. Hey! Wait up! It's really weird that Silent Hill's like a vacation spot. How do we get over there? There's a door. I don't think we should break that open. Ah! We're not. You had to take the whole thing out, you couldn't just... Oh, it's a memento. I thought it was a key. You couldn't just, like, reach in. Gotta be extra about it. Whoa! You revealed a door! I've been making so many faces throughout this playthrough, and I'm disappointed they're not all on record. What is this? A little eyeball? No fishing. Your diamond heart. Are you telling me I can't look through it? Rude? Okay, fine. What if I do this? Fine. Oh, we found her. She's okay. You good? Hey. It's over, John and me. I don't think he's loved me for a long time. I was in love with an idea of this person. But that wasn't John. Mm. <sighs> what a waste. You know, I should have realized when he said he wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> okay. You're still headed for the lighthouse? Yeah. You'll need a boat to cross the lake. They open more at the jetty behind the amusement park. Head through the alley out back. You'll see it. I used to go there with John. I doubt it's as exciting as I remember. Girl, how are you going to get home? It's a I snowstorm and you're still in this little dress. Oh my god. Something feels wrong. She's there. I know it this time. I'll get my answers. You might not like them. We 
We're getting deep in it now. I can almost taste it. All this talking, and we still haven't touched on the sex thing. That's what you're thinking. Aren't all psychiatrists supposed to be obsessed with sex? Is that a thing? It's not us. It's you. You're obsessed with not having sex. Come on, let's have some fun. See the pictures on the table? I want you to divide them up. The ones you think are a sexual symbol oh, go on the Oh, pictures over left. here. The ones that aren't, the right. Okay. That's like an eyeball. That's like a beetle or something. I kind of seen like ovaries first, so I put that over there. This is a skull. This is a car. This is a weird ink blot test. This is a bug. Grab it. I can see this one being sexual. Done? Yeah. Good. Of course, the constant partner of sex, the other side of the same coin, is... Death. Okay. Sex is death. It's a leap into the void. The great loss of self. The Noticing you're very in space, into tarot. A plea for annihilation. To deny sex is to deny death itself. You know, people who are getting enough don't need analysis. You clearly are That's not false. getting enough. Let's see this through to the end. Have you seen Charlie Sheen? He needs analysis. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. If you're fucking, you don't need a therapist. Or a psychiatrist. Jump into the water. What is this? I'm surprised there's no, not any no swimming sides. Signs. Is this a little lizard? It's a little dragon. She's a little dragon doing little dragon things. Lakeside amusement park. Is the bunny gonna be in this, or is that like? Abandoned in this one as well. Dive through! I want to just see him dive through. What's this? There's blood on there. Tom? Also, what a weird ticket booth. No glass, like, whatsoever. You are here. Lakeside. So number four. Right? No, one. No, that's the entrance. I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out.
Oh, cool. It doesn't have the jetty or getty or whatever on the map. Over here. So, like, over here. This way. It's a little hot dog, man. If this like bodes badly for me, I'm gonna be annoyed because it doesn't cost anything. So it's not technically gambling. Oh, ooh. oh. that's cute. Were all the mementos ours? I haven't been paying that much attention to it. Oh my god, we're gonna have to run through this. And I'm gonna hate it! I remember that first time. It was fun. It was a good day. It was easy to be happy back then. For all time's sake. Please remain inside your carriage. This ride has been temporarily halted due to a guest in the tunnel. That ruined it. Since <laughs> when did a little privacy ruin a kiss? How'd she run into the wall? Sus. Do I have to go back up again? Did she just crawl down like one of those little monster things? The sounds in this game are so high pitched and it hurts. I'm sorry. I ruined your ride. I'm sorry if I ruined everything. It's not ruined. We're just glad you're safe. Those swans pack a mean peck. They do? <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> Cute. So there's a boat. Five, two, five, three. There are no officers to take your call right now. The Silent Hill Conservation Police is here to protect our natural public spaces. We will arrest and prosecute any persons found distributing, carrying, or using illegal substances. Likewise, visitors to our forests, lakes, and parks will find that drunkenness or similar behavior will not be tolerated. Our natural havens are not outside the eye of the law. So the only thing they care about is ruining fun? Like, they're the conservation police or whatever. Shouldn't it be, like, destroying the parks or, like, starting forest fires and stuff? Not like, oh, we're the drug police. So we're just gonna, like, steal this boat.
Dahlia. Harry Mason, you're late. You live on this boat? Your party. Question mark. I started without you, so you're playing catch up. What is this place? It's a boat. It's like a car, but goes on water. Love we that. float this baby out into the middle of the lake, and we can do whatever we like. No one to tell us what to do. I need to get to the lighthouse. Well, it can do that too. For a price. What's the My price? daughter is there. I need to be there. Harry, Harry. Always with the weight of the world on his shoulders. I remember when you were a fun loving guy. We're talking about my daughter, damn it. Okay, okay. Is Dahlia like our wife in this one? And then like the one we seen in the in our house was like an older Dahlia. And this is who like we dated when we were we'll in high school. The lighthouse in about 20 minutes. Is this it's version of Dahlia? You know what's happening to me. I know a lot of things. You don't know the half of it. I've seen you die. I've seen a woman with the same name twice your age. She said she was my wife. Okay, so yeah. I didn't realize that they said that their name was Dahlia. The lighthouse. Nowhere else to go. Who are you, Dahlia? I already told you. I'm the way of your life. Your salvation and your curse. Vibes. Oh, we just went right in for that kiss, didn't we? Bruh, isn't she like high school age and you're just going along with this? The boat underwater, the way the effects look, it makes it look like they're the boat's underwater. Great. You fucked a frozen girl. Good for you. He's not bad, not gonna lie. He does act like he's a runner, he's a track star, so. It's kinda cute. Does he look younger now? Should we look for something? Well, half the boat's broken. We are very quick to abandon people. Kind of not into that about him. Yes, hello. Harry, turn back. I can't. It's too late now. For our daughter's sake. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, this is a choice? For our daughter's sake? What do you mean? Okay, the waypoint says to turn back, too. Portland? Sybil. Okay, girl, you realized we were in... Oh, I can't... I legit cannot turn back. There's monsters on the lake? It says to turn back. Is that the lighthouse or not? Yay, a wide open area with just monsters that are way faster than us. How could this go wrong? 
Oh my god, run! Why do they look like this? The little timer. Turned off. Was that... So that was meant to happen? <laughs> and that is the direction of the lighthouse. Fucking GPS lied to me. There's something underneath the water. Doggy paddle. Is this going through our adventure? There's a car crash. <sighs> Wait, is that the lighthouse? That's not the lighthouse. Let's see if we can pull out our phone. No, come on, we're almost there. Is this Sybil again? Sure is. Is this the lighthouse? It's not very lighthousey. You're not stopping me. I'm not here to stop you. I didn't have to fish you out of the water, did I? Stop talking. You can't talk me out of this. I'm not here to stop you. I pulled your file at the station. I told you that, right? If you're telling the truth, this doesn't make sense. But I think you are telling the truth. I believe you think you're Harry Mason. Hell, I believe you are Harry Mason. But Harry Mason was killed in a car crash 18 years ago. We were dead all along. I guess they're waiting in there. That's the lighthouse. Nothing's quite what you expect, is it? Gonna throw a rope away the Silent Hill <laughs> lore. Thank God from now on. <laughs> Would have saved us both a lot of trouble. Hope this works out for you. We're gonna throw away the Silent Hill lore and do a basic he was dead all along theme. Wait, where'd she go? She just disappeared. Lighthouse Clinic.
So, wait, is our daughter the one in therapy that we've been talking to the entire time? I've played until dawn. I was suspecting it wasn't us for a minute, but like... Never forget, he died. He's dead. It's a basic, he's dead theme. Nothing about Silent Hill, it's just he's dead. That's why the Silent Hill is fully functional. It's because he's dead. <laughs> this could have been a story that didn't have anything to do with Silent Hill. And it would have been exactly the same. This is going nowhere. I'm spelling it out, but you're not listening. Your troubled school days? How you're conflicted about marriage? Your denial of death? I didn't say I was conflicted. Guilt, abnormal sexuality? 18 years of denial. A whole universe of fantasy in that thick skull of yours. So this is... A skull teeming with agents of repression. This Blind is our daughter. children clutching photos in the dark. Pale freaks goggle-eyed from watching home movies on loop. The term is complicated grief. Was this happening like at the same time and it wasn't a, a young girl. Her parents don't get along. She blames her. It wasn't a flashback. Children do. Or a flash daddy forward. Dies. What's a girl to do? Deny that daddy died. Deny who daddy was. What 7-year-old actually knows who their parents are anyway? So she obsesses and obsesses over this fantasy dad propping up her make-believe with scraps, scraps of a happy life that never was, scraps of a father who never existed. Wake up! You're a great therapist, slash psychiatrist, slash whatever you are. Dad wasn't a hero. Wasn't your knight in shining armor. He was a human being. You never knew him. Oh look, there and he is. The dad walking around in your head isn't even a ghost. He never existed. A Frankenstein's monster, a child's fantasy. That's cute. But you're alive. Your mother is alive. She's not the monster you make her out to be. You need to live your life. Cheryl. so long. I always will be. Uh. <sighs> uh, okay. Who's that? Mama? Our bestie? Our girlfriend? He said of normal sexuality. Patient 32, initial assessment, transcribing my notes on the patient. Overall, an interesting case. In these notes, I shall restrict myself to more general observations. Can I make this speed up? I cannot. Okay. 
Restrict myself to more general observations on the personality and behavioral aspects demonstrated during our time together. Detailed discussion of delusions, etc., etc., will be saved for a more specific addendum. A bit of a dreamer here. Uh, seems driven by positive, positive ideals. Wants to help, befriend, nurture, and otherwise enhance the lives of others. Whether they want this or not. Quite interested in reflection and self-improvement. Did I get a good ending? Sees life as a journey. I said journey during our playthrough. <laughs> Resorts to a lot of tired growth and floral metaphors? What does that mean? Seems averse to conflict, likes to be referred to as a romantic, likes to rely on intuition, therapy, felt like the right thing to do. Serious about relationships, seems quite committed and family focused, pretty straight laced, and I don't think this is a front. Dependable and committed. But lousy in bed, question mark? What? Very conscientious. Says they are always aware of obligations. Others might criticize for being too thorough or detail-oriented. Not my phrase. Has aspects of addictive personality. Might sometimes overindulge tastes on occasion. Why not? Indeed. Likes to insist on tidiness and having everything in its place. So is this like my psyche, Val? Because I don't agree with it. <laughs> Seems to take pride in being nice to others. I suggested patient would make a useful and reliable roommate. Uh, patient smiled. Patient in a few words, clean and tidy. Couldn't be me. Uh, so summing up, I'm sure patient will be back. Lots of uncovered ground. Don't believe we've seen everything yet. Might be worth going back to the start and re-examining with benefit of what we know now. Is that telling us to do another playthrough? I think Patient will agree. Okay. So that was the little synopsis of our psyche eval, I guess. Um, why the fuck were we playing as Harry? Or, like... I... Was that all in her head then? Like, she's imagining the adventure he's going on to get there? I, I, I'm i not understanding. The music just ends. Um. Okay. Oh, these are mementos. That we found through the game. Age seven, special memories. So these are memories from when she was seven. Little mementos from her. I was right then. Those are all things from mementos that we had. Yes, save the game. Okay. So, not my favorite. All of the nightmare parts were very annoying. Did not like that. Well designed. I, the nightmare parts felt well, like, visually good. But, like, with you... I tried to sneak. I, I tried to sneak through it sometimes. It didn't work. They always caught on to you and then... You would always have to start running again. My flashlight also kept turning on. 
which I think led to also them finding me very easily. And I wasn't turning it back on most of the time. Sometimes I would turn it back on because I couldn't see, but most of the time when I was sneaking around, like, either one of them spot me and I think it turns back on or, like, it just turns back on for by itself for some reason. The fighting them off, awful. Hated it. You had to do this a lot and, like, this and it just wouldn't work. Like, this one, I think, worked the best, even though it wouldn't work all the time either. Um, but either way, when you're doing this, it's really hard to get it centered back on the screen, which made it really hard to run away because it was the only way to look around. Couldn't look at the map ever when in the nightmare spots because... I was running. It doesn't pause the game. You do not run while you're looking at your map, which would have been helpful. Um, it was just a labyrinth of nightmare, <laughs> which sucked because you're constantly being chased with nothing really you can do because they're much faster than you and there's tons of them. And it didn't come off as scary. It came off as annoying. The monster designs were like, meh. Because it was the same monster, just, like, different. I don't know why. Like, the Psyche Bell changed how they looked, obviously. But, like, I don't understand why they looked like that. The little bits where we actually seen it transform into the Nightmare was cool. Like, the first beginning area, I, was, I wish there was more of that, where it slowly transformed instead of us just, like, being there. The story was, okay, the story was, like, it was okay, but it's, like, not Silent Hill. Like, there was no reason for this to be a Silent Hill game. Um, you could have easily changed the name from Silent Hill to, like, anything... Like, the name of the town to Silent from Silent Hill to anything else. And then changed every character's name. And you'd be like, this isn't a Silent Hill game. Not at all. But, like, if you went to Silent Hill 3... Or, like, any of the four main titles of Silent Hill and you change their names from the town to Silent Hill or anything, you'd be like, this really feels like a Silent Hill game. Am I playing a Silent Hill game? This one, I, I just don't think it's a Silent Hill game. I think it's a different game. They were going to for a Silent Hill game. But I think they failed? Typical story of, oh, we've been dead the whole time. And, oh, it was in her head the whole time. Like, the location of Silent Hill had nothing to do it, with it at all, which sucks. So I thought the story was meh. It would have been a good story. It's like a good story outside the context of Silent Hill. And the gameplay is just kind of boring and kind of annoying. Like... The puzzles are all super easy. Most of the time, it was legit just like, how many ways can we make you open a door or a drawer with the Wiimote? And then the only parts that had danger were the nightmare, and that was very annoying. Like, it feels... Like, I know that the team, because I read into it a little bit, like, the team wanted to make... Or who the main guy, I guess, that wanted to do it, wanted to reimagine the first game... Because they didn't like how their story, the first, like, Harry's story continued into Silent Hill 3 and stuff, even though that was dope. Like, I don't know. It, I, it's just not a fan. It didn't feel too fun to play. The controls were awful, especially during any of the chases. And, eh, story was, like, mediocre, like, oh, it was dead all the the whole time, which you can call out from the beginning. And like I said, it didn't, it could have taken place anywhere. And the story would have made sense because there's no reason this, this game is in Silent Hill at all. <laughs> Other than like the characters' names are Harry Mason and Cheryl and stuff. Like, that's it. So if you change their names... Could be anywhere. Could be anywhere in the world. And it the story would have still played out the same way. Because it doesn't matter that they're in Silent Hill. 
The only the, I did read this too. They felt the team felt that the the car crash in the beginning was the most significant part in the game, in the first game. And it seems like they based that entire this entire game just around that that there was a car crash in the beginning of the game. And that's what this game is based off of. Just like he was in a car crash. That's that's it. I don't know. The psych okay, the psych part is a very cool concept. The controls and stuff, I feel make it a little hard. And I feel like the psychiatrist guy plays a big part in it. I did see that like every little thing you do adds up. So like uh one example was what bathroom do you go for? in first the boys or the girls but like i feel like that they're playing they were playing to that part as in like if you enter the girls first you're pervy and i feel like that just backfires because like i seen the door i was like i'm going in and i realized it was a girl's bathroom and i was like oh cheryl could be in here because she's a girl so like not pervy just like hey <laughs> It's a girl's bathroom. Cheryl, are you in here? Obviously, she wasn't going to be in there, but also, it was the first door I saw. So, it, I feel like that backfired against it in, in a pervy way. Which, we got a good ending, I think. I'm going to look up the endings real fast. We got the Love Lost ending, which sounds like the best one. Because the other ones are called Drunk Dad, Sleaz and Sirens, and Wicked and Weak. So, I think we got the best possible ending, like, fully in this playthrough. Which means... My brain is completely healthy. Complete emotionally well. <laughs> Obviously. Um, my psyche veil is I'm amazing. That's what it was. That, that's what that means. Goodbye. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, those are my thoughts on the game. Let me know what you thought. Everybody have a great night, day, whatever's going on for you. Make it a good one. And I hope to see you for the next game. Also, let me know what you think of the, like, the long playthrough, the long play style of video, rather than cutting up, cutting it up into parts, because this is very different for me. Yeah. Okay, bye.